Welcome to the Friendica tutorial, where I will show you how you can do everything on Friendica that you can on Facebook, but if you choose to, be more connected with social media. Friendica is a part of the Fediverse, a decentralized social media platform where your data is never sold or used without your express permission, and no central server owns your data. The network is made up of volunteers who run instances, or nodes, and your encrypted data there can only be accessed by you. In English, Friendica does sadly sound like a cheap knockoff of Friendster, but heavy use of German and French users show that the stigma doesn't exist there. I made the same tutorial back in 2020 and things have changed a lot since then, and the majority of the information is now wrong, especially with all the changes that have happened in the last two upgrades. Several features, one or two, I am proud to say that I implemented myself. Many of these changes have made these tutorials shorter, because things are less complex to figure out. Also, thanks to Musk, causing people to move over from Twitter to Mastodon, a lot of things have changed and people now better understand the Fediverse on a much larger scale. I also made a playlist of three two-minute shorts explaining the Fediverse and how to sign up, so I no longer have to discuss that either. So go watch it first before you start this if you don't understand. In these tutorials, you will see me reuse some of the old tutorials, so there may be some older artifacts in there. So let's get started. Here is the personal homepage for this channel on a now defunct Friendica server. So what you'll do is you're going to hit sign up. Now if you have open ID, that's cool, I don't have one. Put in your full name, or if you're starting a group, you'll put in the group name there. This is your email address, repeat your email address, and then choose your nickname. This will be your handle, but it will also be like choosing your email address here, and this will be like your email address. And then whenever you essentially do the equivalent of the tweet or post, it will send at your name at the string right here instead of just saying Anubis2814 like I had on Twitter. If you want to be found, you will include your profile name in the member directory, if you want to find friends, that is, or people with similar interests, otherwise hit no. Then you'll hit sign up now. You'll end up getting an email that will let you know that you got in, and then what you'll do next from there is you'll go to settings, you'll go down to password change, and then you'll put in the current password, which is the one they sent you, and then put in your new password. It's really simple, and then after that you will want to set up your profile. I haven't put my location details here because it's none of anybody's business. But, if I can someday convince friends and family in real life, I will put these details on my personal account. I don't have many in-person friends right now, but I have a lot more than I used to, mostly on Mastodon thanks to the Twitter migration. For display, you can change your themes. These have multiple versions of it. These three are listed as unsupported now. Vier and Frio are the only ones that are still supported, but Frio is so customizable, I guess they decided that the others are kind of pointless. Then hit Save Settings. I went with Frio specifically because I like the way that I could get this picture back here. You get custom settings. You can customize it. I put in background picture, which is what this is. I use top banner, but you can do full screen at the full screen. I don't really care for it because it cut off a lot of it, or you can use the different mosaic options. If you can get a good banner, that's great. You don't have to worry about it cutting out anything, and you can change the color of navigation icon, link color, and then I set the opacity to like 90. 90 is a good opacity, so you can kind of see through it so it's not too distracting. Anything more than that and it will be distracting as all hell. I put up my picture here and switch over to profile. Down here we have content layout. As you can see here I turned off infinite scrolling. This will ensure that you can be more mindful about how much time you spend here. I selected 25 posts for my desktop page and 50 for my mobile device. I also had it refresh every 60 seconds. Go too slow and it will take longer to register a new post. Refresh too many times and it will bog the server down. You can enable emoticons, you can enable smart threading which makes threads, not the social media app, cleaner and easier to follow. You can turn on a dislike button. You can turn on or off whether it shows who reshared something in your feed. You can stay local which means it won't go over to the other server when you click on their profile in the feed. It will take you to their profile as it would be shown here. I'll be demonstrating that here shortly. This one makes it easier to mass delete, and this one will make sure that events are posted at the top of your feed, such as birthdays. We will discuss timelines and channels in their own video. Then you've got calendar, what week we want to start on. Next, we will look at posting and profiles. In your feed, click on this new post option. 
You can set a title if you want it to be a blog post. If you see something posted from Diaspora, most of them will have titles, while toots from Mastodon never do, and I almost never do myself. You can make posts public or private to all your followers, or you can just add a circle that can see the post, or exclude an entire circle if you want. I will discuss circles in a later video. You can also schedule your post. You can preview your post, or in browser, you can add a picture from there that you already have. At the bottom here, you have icons that mostly will generate markdown code for you, and you write it in between. Underline, italic, bold, quotes, emoticons will pop up, a list for you, and generate the markdown code links. You can put a link to a video that will generate a preview a little better than just posting it by itself. You can geotag, and you can use a content warning or spoiler warning here. You can also copy paste an image. This will generate the markdown code for you. And then there is alt text, which is really hard to figure out. And I will probably figure out some sort of instruction icon here in the future. But once you know how, it's really easy. Just place alt text right before the closing IMG and it will appear. There are also other markdown codes you can use that are under BB code in the help section. And that's how you make a post. In the feed, you can hover over the name or click on the icon on the mobile page. Just tap either and this menu will pop up. You can make a new post mentioning them, or you can click network posts that will take you to all their posts. You can click profile, which will take you to their profile, and you can add or remove them from contacts. If you don't click on the stay local option in the settings, you will click on their name and it will shoot you over to their instance profile. Down in the bottom, if you want to save something for later, you can click save to folder and create a new folder or use a dropdown of the existing folders. You can follow the thread and you can see language detected, which usually aren't very good yet. You can block, ignore them, collapse, which should just give you a warning that it's from this person, similar to a content warning. So you have the choice to see what they've posted or not. You can block the entire instance that the person belongs to, or you can report the posts so your instance provider can block them or their entire instance if there are bad players or allow abuse to keep happening. Groups are similar to how they operate in Facebook, Follow is the same as join, though there are some private groups. I want to find groups that we can add, so we go to directory in here, and then we can go to the global directory, and we can search all the groups, and most groups are in German, but there are quite a few of them still. So if you want to come on here and create your own, I'll be showing you how to make your own groups later on, and it works just like a Facebook group. So we're going to put my information right here, submit my request, and then we go confirm. And depending on the group, we'll have to accept to make sure that we don't get spammers in there, which is incredibly common. All right, so that's essentially what you do to start up your account. In the next video, we will do a side-by-side -side comparison with Facebook and how you can do everything here you can do there. After that, we'll discuss how to create groups, how to port your information over, and some extra little features that may help out. I hope this was helpful and gets you interested in joining this kind of platform. Thanks, and have a good day.